Good morning, and welcome once again to Patriots Day in New England, a Massachusetts holiday where we uh, commemorate the beginning of the American Revolution. Here in Massachusetts, there are two big things, of course, that Patriots Day is known for. Our taxes are delayed for uh, another day, so we've got another day yet to file them. And, of course, today is the day of the annual running of the Boston Marathon. I have never run in the marathon. I have nowhere near in that kind of physical shape. On the other hand, this is also the eighth year in a row where I have uh, prepared a special dish to bring into work, especially to uh, celebrate the uh, marathon. And this is about as New England as we can get. Here's my favorite part. That was not my favorite part. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Just love the reveal. Got an 11 pound pork shoulder here that has been slow cooking all night with two pounds of great northern beans. And the result, we've got Boston baked pork and beans, where this thing is so tender, the bones are gonna pull right out and the pork is just gonna fall apart. I can't even lift it out of the pot in one piece because of that. <laughs> Give me one second. After all, you can't be a foodie today without getting a couple of pictures of this. close up. And now, <laughs> now let's see what happens. for the extra parts. Actually, the bone has already come out. <laughs> Just pulls right out. <laughs> Another tiny piece. And here's the one on. Here we go. Da -da -da. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think there's another bone in there somewhere. Also, we have to peel off some of the extra fat, which is great for cooking later.
Today, unfortunately, is going to be the second year in a row, and that's not the first time, that is, is going to be a windy and rainy Boston Marathon, so my condolences to the runners. This is, well, what you get into when you try to, when you sign up to run one of the most famous marathons in the world. Unpredictable New England weather, not to mention the hilly terrain. It's not going to be quite as cold as last year, where there were actually snowflakes falling during the marathon. I understand the temperature is going to be probably in the 50s. However, I know that most folks would prefer not to be running in the rain. At least my co-workers will be nice and dry. Getting to that point. So this, like this, make me so glad I learned how to cook. I'm not sure if the soundtrack can pick up in the background. The window is open. Cars are driving past the building in the rain. If I had my druthers, I would do a soundtrack of that famous Boston anthem, Dirty Water. But that would certainly be flagged for copyright. So you can either play that yourself, or just sing it. <laughs> I love that dirty water. Boston, you're my town. Now we're getting there. <laughs> Oops. Just a piece. Five second rule, and it's just on the counter. Oh, yeah. Also on Patriots Day, well, originally they had scheduled a doubleheader for the Boston Red Sox to take place on the same day as the marathon. However, unlike the marathon, I'm pretty sure the baseball game is going to be rained out.
nice big container of Boston baked pulled pork. Now let's get in there and fork it up. <laughs> Pulled pork is really one of the easiest dishes in the world to make. And despite that I've done a couple of videos of doing this with beans, I should just do a regular pulled pork video. Because pulled pork can be done in just a few steps. Sear the pork in advance, just to get a little bit of a crust. Then you can add it to the pot, put in any spices you want, any braising liquid you want, and you cover the pot and slow cook it for several hours. You can use beer, you can use honey, barbecue sauce, put together your own rub, chicken broth, pretty much anything you want. It always comes out great. Once more, this pork shoulder happened to be on sale for 79 cents a pound. So an 11 pound pork shoulder, I think it only cost about eight bucks. Maybe nine. You really can't do better than that. <laughs> At least not these days. <laughs> I keep making that noise. <sighs> it's only because I can't eat any of this. Not for health reasons, but because of Lent. I myself do not really practice. However, my roommate's sister challenged her to give up meat for Lent, and she took up the challenge. And so I said to support her, I would join in and make a commitment to lose some weight. And I'd like to think I've done pretty good too. Within the last month, a little more than a month, I've actually managed to lose about 10 pounds. I'm feeling much better, much happier about that. All right. Nice big container of pulled pork here. Make all the jokes you want about pulling my pork. <laughs> Did I mention the pot? I hope I did, because the pot is a, is a vintage, well, later vintage, Birmingham Stove and Range number 12 Dutch oven of the Century Cookware series, estimated late 60s to early 70s. Unfortunately, it's actually a spinner, as underneath the seasoning, this, act, this pot has regrettably had some fire damage.
one of these days, this pot is just going to crack. Hope it doesn't explode, but that's what fire damage can do to cast iron. However, until then, this thing here really lives up to its reputation. Birmingham stove and range thought big when it come to making cast iron. And their pieces generally are given names like beasts, monsters, tanks. And you can bet this is every bit of that. BSR number 12 to replace this, especially because this thing is fire damaged. My hope is that one day I'll find a number 12 of the Red Mountain series, which will actually go with the lid. The lid of this pot I acquired separately. As for if anyone has, wants to know the recipe for these Boston baked beans, well, I have posted this many times to my website and to my Facebook and to my YouTube. Which is, of course, Cast Iron Chaos. Or just simply do a Google search for Boston baked pork and beans. <laughs> oh, this bean, this leftover cooking liquid, a lot of fat in it, yes, but after this, you can make a separate dish. Maybe, maybe stew some rice in it. <laughs> Rice and veggies, in fact. Uh, <laughs> and that about covers it. <laughs> this is going to go into work today. Into the office. <sighs> where we will have a, hopefully, a wonderful lunch as we watch the end of the 2019 Boston Marathon. Here's hoping nothing bad happens. And to everyone, if anyone bothered watching this video, well, I can only show you my gratitude. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy yourself and have a good day.